Hey guys, it's Justin. Once again, here with my good friend, Eugene Choi. Check him out on YouTube. Matwix is his YouTube channel, link in the description. <laughs> anyway guys, we're gonna talk about dating, picking up girls as a minority and how fitness actually helps with that. So, I'll let you actually start this off. So, like, you wanna talk about minority, right? Yep. Like, being like, so you're, you're Indian. My parents are Indian, yes. And I'm, and I'm Asian. So, we kind of like, it's a cultural standards thing. So, we kind of grew up with like this, this, this role that we have to be in. Um, like, our, like, when you're born, right, you don't know shit. You're like a blank slate. And you pretty much like spend like the first 18 years of your life, like literally having your parents plan out your life, right? And if you don't listen to your parents, you're going to fucking die. And that's all you know. Because they're responsible for your food. They're responsible for your wiping your ass, your bedtime. Basically, if you don't listen to your parents, you die, right? So everything they tell you is, is the Bible. It's the truth and the only truth. Otherwise, you're dead, right? And that's what you think. Um, but so myself, and I'm pretty sure Justin as well, um, we don't want to die. So we, we literally grow up like listening to our mom when she, when she tells us, shut the fuck up. Don't talk. You know, don't talk at the dining table. Don't talk when there's people around. You know, just listen, bow your head or whatever. Be respectful, right? And if we do speak up, we get shamed. If we do laugh, you guys can go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Awkward. Um, see, like, like right there, right? Like, they could have just walked through. But they probably have parents telling them, hey, if people have cameras out, like... Don't fucking walk through the fucking camera in front of the camera. Wait until the whole video is done. Like, even if it takes an hour, wait. You know, fuck, fuck, like what? Fuck, fuck that. You don't want to go there. No, you don't want to be. You want. You don't want to be. You want to be respectful. Wait until this hour-long video stops, and then you can go over there, right? No, but see, that's that's like just just that's that's a crazy example. But you you guys get get an idea of what I'm trying to get here. Get out here, right? You want to build on. So this? essentially, like, what he's trying to say is, growing up. You're being socially conditioned by people around you, friends, family, your church, like just everyone. And especially, um, I know this is especially strong uh, in people who are minorities, Chinese, Indian, East Asian cultures, even European cultures, coming to westernized society and trying to conform but trying to hold their own values back. And because of that, it does cause issues of you Right, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of my subscribers and his subscribers are Indian or Asian men uh, who are young, growing up, trying to figure out why don't I fit in into society. And you're trying to figure it out, and you can't because you don't understand how the way your parents raise you and how the psychology uh, is kind of playing effect in that. Where you were grown, you've grown up under the influence of your parents as well as under society's kind of social conditioning and pressure and you don't really want to mix it it just confuses you right and now what we're, i guess what eugene's trying to say here is first of all say fuck you to society if i was going to walk through someone's video i will literally do it and if they say anything i'm going to say hey fuck you <laughs> um not to be an asshole but to be honest it's like we are blocking the path we're blocking the pathway of my rooftop condo uh, so people exiting the building can't walk through and naturally they these like black guys are trying to walk through it's probably the fact that growing up, their parents said, hey, don't be rude, be nice, be respectful, don't ruin people's videos, like things like that. And it's kind of wired in their subconscious to not do that. Now, through things like going out, socializing, through fitness, uh, you can check out Eugene's channel. There's a lot of fitness stuff and it'll actually really change the way your brain works and the way you think. You'll actually understand that you don't have to actually worry about social conditioning. It's there to kind of keep you in your like safe haven so you don't die, protect you. But at the same time, it holds you back because you stay safe. You stay in your comfort zone, but you're just safe. You're always playing it safe. You're not risking it. You're never uh, taking a gamble. You're never trying to level up and uh, risk it all and try to level up in life because you're just trying to play it safe all the time. You don't want to go out. You don't want to socialize. You don't want to meet people uh, because you just want to try to play it safe. Yeah. You don't want to talk to that cute girl from your math class because you're shy and you're holding back because you're scared of what people will think about you, right? You're scared of fucking up. You're scared of what your family will think about you. You Sorry? think you're going to die, essentially. <laughs> yeah, you should talk to her. Yeah. You, should, you should tell her that she's beautiful and that she looks like she's a model, Aww. right? Seriously. Yeah, you're, like, not, you're not going to die for, for, for going up to her and telling her that. Like, 
like, of course, no shit. Logically, we understand that we're not gonna die if we approach a girl. Like, no, like, like we we think we make up these stories. Like, oh, she probably has a boyfriend who's fucking psycho, and <laughs> as soon as. He fucking sees me approaching her. He's gonna get his knife out and stab me in the fucking back, <laughs> no. and I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. But it's an instinctual thing, right? It's not even a logical thing. It's like your instincts telling you exactly. don't do it. If you guys want to go in, you can go in. Go for it. Cool. It's cool. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah. another example, right? Uh, you can do it. You don't have to be scared of just like pushing yourself or uh, just taking the right actions after you. How's the barbecue? Is it good? Alright. <laughs> you don't have to be scared, right? It's an instinctual thing. It's your psychology. It's your evolutionary psychology telling you don't do it when realistically you can do whatever you want because it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission after you. <laughs> it's easier to ask for forgiveness than for permission, right? Yeah. So. I guess the whole point of this video is let go of what people think about you. Let go of what your friends... Do you want to come be in the video? Come, 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 come. Okay. Come. Just just come right here. She's shy. She's shy. Yeah, yeah. Don't be shy. Come. Come, 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 come. See, she, she, she thinks she's going to die if she comes in the video here. Or like judgment from no, people. Yeah. Um, I mean, realistically, that is that is the underlying subconscious thing of why people feel shy. The what reason you feel shy is your underlying subconscious social conditioning telling you don't do it because I feel shy. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm anxious. And you don't know. It's the uncertainty, right? You, you live life like this routine pattern every day. And it's the uncertainty of not knowing what tomorrow holds if you take a different action. Because if you take the same actions every day, you you know what's gonna happen tomorrow it's the same shit that happens every day but if you do take different actions you're unsure now the beautiful thing and the interesting thing is if you let go of that and change up what you're doing day to day beautiful things happen you end up meeting cool people you end up meeting cute girls you end up making good friends you end up in beautiful fucking places right so I mean I guess we can end this video here unless you want to continue chatting yeah. about this concept yeah I mean like like imagine yourself you know your parents I mean if you have especially like those of you who had like Asian or like Indian or whatever like really strict parents Im imagine you had the opposite kind of parents where like they let you um, where it's okay to talk to people it's okay to go up to people and say hi say what's up um, like like you wouldn't be stifled you wouldn't be scared to go up to girls or whoever um, you would just go and just just talk to them say what's Funny up side right? note yeah. One of my uh, best friends I lived with in Australia and he's a close friend of mine from college uh, and he's actually coming back here in a few weeks, very excited, but uh, he's, a, he's what they call a natural, someone who's naturally social, naturally cool, natural, charismatic, very smart, success driven because his dad raised him that way. From the time he was five years old, he'd point out to girls and he'd be like, hey, go talk to that girl. He would tell him like proper advice about how to live as a real, strong, powerful, authentic, genuine man. And uh, now my buddy's 22, owns his own business. He's a pilot. He's like legit a certified pilot who can fly those big airplanes. And um, I mean, he's traveled the whole fucking world. He's very charismatic. He's had hot girlfriends. He's a very charismatic person. And it's because the way he was raised, his psychology from his parents raising him told him that you can, you can do it, right? Not, oh, you can't do it. They told him, do whatever the fuck you want and don't let, don't ever apologize for it. And one thing he, pointed out is like his parents were always telling him you can be whoever you want to be you can do whatever you want to do and you don't have to apologize for it and now he's that kind of person and here's the thing you can condition your own brain to be that kind of person by listening to videos like this listening to the right speeches like this being around the right influences hang out with the right friends like my good buddies behind the camera or good old Eugene right so you can condition your own brain to be this kind of person if you just let go and take lots of action on it and take the right actions on it that would allow you to be that person yeah exactly just like he said like um, you can I mean what you learned you can learn something else and and override it I mean that's just 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 out <laughs> Obviously, it's it's not easy. We're not we're not saying like this is like an overnight thing because how long did it fucking take you to be scared to be scared to talk to someone, right? Um, so you got to work that much hard harder to to a, to a, normalize it, pretty much, right? I mean, like this is not something that obviously like you're fucking 
your whole life you thought you'd die if you talked to someone obviously you're not going to just be like oh yeah you know what uh you know what i think today like i think i'm not going to die for talking to, just going up to someone and talk to someone you know I, I'm, I'm totally going to be totally fine uh going up to this hot ass girl and uh yeah yeah um yeah let's do it no like you're gonna f- still fucking feel that that instinctual like mm-hmm. the anxiety like, oh, you know it's like, like uh, oh. you that know? feeling of anxiety is like you feeling like holy shit I might die I'm scared I'm nervous and you don't know why it's not a logical thing it's an instinctual irrational feeling uh, but overcome it defuse the situation like scream in public like there's a bunch of people here on my roof penis Right, they'll stare at me. They're staring at me, and I just don't care. I, well, at this point, I'm desensitized. But when I used to do this in the past, I'm just desensitized by the social pressure. Uh, sorry, it desensitizes you. I'm desensitized now. But you let this social pressure hit you. You do things that scare you. You go talk to the girl. You go to a high-end nightclub that you wouldn't feel welcome at, and you might feel nervous that night. And next time you go there, you're not gonna feel as nervous. You try new things. You try a new flavor of ice cream. Last ha- last night, I tried. Uh, green tea ice cream I was was I a little bit nervous to try some weird ass fucking flavor of ice cream yes I was did I do it yes did I like it yes right so you can actually push yourself to try new things push your comfort zone and then it slowly expands gets bigger and you become a lot more strong as a person and when you see these guys or these even girls who are a lot more confident than you and a lot more happier than you it's because they put themselves in these situations Either naturally through the parents raising them to do that or through them doing it themselves. You guys can walk through. After you. Go for it. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Uh, I guess we can end the video here. We're about- yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want you to check out May Twix, Eugene Choi on YouTube. Brilliant guy. Amazing fitness content. Yeah. F- fear is your guide to freedom, guys. F- like, Think of fear as your compass to freedom. Whatever you're scared to do, do more of it. And that'll like that's freedom right there. Awesome, guys. Anyway, guys, like this video, share. Please share with a friend who would benefit from this video. I'm sure you guys have a bunch of pussy-ass friends who are scared, <laughs> who are scared as shit of life, and they benefit from watching this video. Leave a like. If you leave a comment, ask any question. I promise you I'll respond, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.